text boxes in iBooks Author automatically link from one to the other. To select a text box, click and drag over the area where the box lives, and you'll see a blue line indicating the connection between boxes. As you continue to expand your document and you add more and more text, new pages will automatically be added and the text boxes will automatically be linked. However, if you like, you can take control over this linking as well. For example, if I was to simply resize this box here, you'll see that the link between them is maintained, and I'm now free to add other elements into the space here. But if I wanted to, I could also change the linking entirely. To alter the linking, click on one of the blue boxes that indicates a link point, and you'll see that there is a plus mark as you hover over an empty space, or a minus mark as you hover over the box itself. If I tap the minus, it's going to delete the connection between these two boxes. This box is now empty. If I want to add a new connection, once again select the box, click on the blue arrow, you'll see that we now have a plus symbol over the arrow, and we can now click and drag a new text box wherever we like. And you can continue this process as many times as you want to. And notice, however, that you cannot link existing text boxes. So for example, if I wanted to link this box to this one here, when I click on the blue arrow and hover the mouse over this box, you'll notice that it doesn't actually link. It will only allow me to create a new one. You can create additional text boxes that aren't linked to anything by clicking on the text box icon in the toolbar. When you click that, you now have a free-floating independent text box that has no relation to any other text boxes on the page.